walang universidad na pinagkaisa ng misyon at pangarap. Ang ibahagi ang kausayan sa academics at sport. Ako si Gretchen Ho. Ako naman si Robby Domingo. Ito ang University Town Season, Season 2! 2. Pagbabalik sa teritory ng Green Archers at alam mo naman, Robby, pagdugong bede, ibang klaseng palaban yan. Tama ba ako, guys? <coughs> yeah! Lasal! Marami na naman tayong bibisitahin at makikilala dito sa campus nila. All of them are proud bearers of the Lasalian legacy. Ano mo? <coughs> Kaya naman, go! Lasal! Go, go, Lasal! Two, four, six, eight! Who do we appreciate? Let us all! Who do we say? Ano? Showdown? Yun, ano? Showdown? Showdown tayo? Tayo? Showdown? Ah, okay. Showdown. Ako, Ay, ako. Showdown. Ready na ba kayo? In three, two, one. Oh! natin ngayon ang dalawa sa team sa talaga namang inaabangan ng lahat ng buong Lasal community ang DLSU Animal Squad at ang Season 79 Champions Lasal Dance Company Street! Okay, so kayo nga guys yung nagdadala ng uh, energy pagating sa arena, sa Coliseum. Good vibes ano ba? all the way. Oh, ano ba ang uh, winning formula? Our winning formula definitely has to be collaboration kasi our team, everyone is really involved when we create our competition pieces. So, there. It's really collaboration with each other. So, sa showdown, hindi tayo magkakalaban. Magkakampi tayo lahat. Oh, congratulations for winning the championship sa Steve Dance competition. Maklasi, uh, pinakita niyo yung routine dun eh. Pero ako, gusto kong tanongin naman, from Steve Dance, pupunta naman tayo sa cheer dance. Every single year, isa sa mga inaabangan talaga na sport, maliban sa basketball, volleyball, at iba pang mga sports, eh yung cheer dance competition. How do you guys prepare for that one? Um, well, to prepare for cheer dance competition, it's not like any other athletic sport because you have to prepare for it at least a year ahead. Because those five, five to six minute routines, you can't prepare for them three months before. Every skill that you see performed there, each athlete has perfected even a year before. Hira Oh, oh. Physically, mentally, rin, kailangan. Uh, just complete the statement. Ang sarap maging lasal yan kasi. Ang sarap maging lasal yan because it's lasal. Well, sige, bias ako. Pero, being in lasal is a whole other experience because we're not like the conyo rich kid people that they make us out to be. Swear, kasi you go up to any lasal yan, you'll be able to bond with them right away. Okay? Promise we're not conyo. Promise? Promise. 
Hey, go naman. Bakit ka naman proud to be Lasallian? Sir, maging Lasalliano dahil you really get the full experience dito sa Lasall. The future begins here. <laughs> Number, thank you so much, uh, LSDC. Sa Alan Web Squad. I'm sure this year will be a great year for you guys. Lalo na lalo na sa mga Good luck. Good luck. Season 80. <laughs> Competition begins right here. Siyam na Lasal yan brothers ang nagkatag ng pinakaunang Lasal school noong 1911. And that time, puro boys lang ang pwede sa campus. And fast forward to more than a century later, marami nang nagbago sa pinakamamahal ng universidad ng mga loud and proud Lasalians. Yung buhok mo. Ayos. Okay. Okay. One hundred six years of excellence and progress. Ito ang legacy na ipiregmamalaki ng Lasallians. At para kwento han tayo ng makulay na kasaysayan ng DLSU, binisita natin ang leader ng pamantasan. Welcome. I'd like to show you the way to the president's office. If you will join me. Simula ng maitatag ang Lasall noong 1911. Dekalibring edukasyon ang pangunahing handog ng universidad. Archbishop Hartley wanted to, to make sure that there would be good quality education in English under the Americans. So he invited the De La Salle brothers because he himself was an alumnus of the brothers in the United States. 1911, that's when De La Salle opened its doors. There were only 25 students, all boys. Uh, and this was in Paco. Then, after a few years, the property here on Taft Avenue was available, and that's when De La Salle transferred to Taft Avenue and up to the present time. So here, we've seen over the years, the, I think the transition of how uh, the university serves not only the church but also the nation by having holistic education. Marami man ang nagbago mula noon hanggang ngayon, patuloy pa rin sa pagpapaalala ang pamantasan sa kanilang mga estudyante na isa puso ang core values ng isang true Lasallian. Faith, which is, again, to live in the presence of God, to be aware of the importance of, of life in, in the plan of God. And then, uh, service, which is service or zeal for service, which is to be other-oriented, to, to see our gifts, our talents, not for ourselves alone or for our families, but really to be placed at the service of, of others, the country, community, communion or community. It's important that what I do, what I am aiming at, includes a community aspect, you know, whether it's in, the, it's in the school or the big community outside the school. And therefore, we have uh, community engagement, we have volunteers to, to reach out to the larger community. Para kay Brother Ray, isa lang raw ang sigaw ng bawat lasalista. Animo comes, I guess, from the originally from the Latin word animus, the soul, the, the spirit, and so on. So when you hear animal, it means, you know, uh, to have a fighting spirit, you know, uh, energize your, yourself or the team or uh, give uh, spirit and life to each other. Inaasahan rin ni Brother Ray ang lahat ng lasalista na tulad ng isang archer, mag-focus at maging asintado tungo sa kanilang pangarap. A Lasallian should, should be a combination of, of those skills to be disciplined, to be focused, to be concentrated, but towards a, a goal and towards a, a target that, that is presented to him or which he, he chooses. Patuloy na hinuhubog ng Lasal ang labing tatlong libong estudyante para mag-excel sa kanilang napipiling larangan. 
at may nakilala kaming hindi lang outstanding pagdating sa academics. Isa rin siyang exceptional na leader sa student government. My name is Edric Lackey. I'm from the School of Economics taking up Applied Economics and Applied Corporate Management. It's a double degree course here in La Salle. I'm currently in my fifth year um, and I'm the incumbent president of the University Student Government of DLSU. Back in high school, I really liked um, the theories and economics. Um, therefore, when I was choosing for my course here in La Salle, I chose Applied Economics as my uh, first degree. And then after a while, I told myself, aim high, always aim high. Um, hence, I chose the course Applied Economics and Applied Corporate Management. Mahigit limampung taon nang namamayagpag ang School of Economics pagdating sa education and research. One of the classes that we have is called the Econo Economic Development, um, or Econdev. Um, what we do here is we learn the theories inside, uh, inside the classroom and then we survey a community, um, check out their demographics, check out policies that can um, help the community, and then try to implement it there. 18 years na ang proud Lasalian si Zed at kaakibat ng pagkakaroon ng dugong berde ang paglilingkod sa komunidad. Um, I chose Lasal because first is I found myself capable of adding value here to myself. Um, and when I say adding value to myself, that's more of me growing as a person. Um, that's more, more of me growing as a student. That's more of me growing as a student leader. It gives me the ability um, and gives me opportunities to add value to others. To apply what I've learned um, inside the classroom, outside the society. DLSU gives its students the opportunity and the chance to add value to where they belong. Uh, malalaman mo kung nasan ka talaga uh, pupunta. Payo ni Zed sa mga kapwa sa lista, sulitin ang bawat sandali ng buhay kolehiyo. Lasal always had that tagline um, that your future begins here. Um, and they're not kidding. Um, because in this university, uh, you will be taught how to make your future happen or make the things that you want. It enables them not only to be successful, but also to give back to society. I'm very, very proud to be a Lasallian. You love what you do right now, especially with the sports you're doing right now. Because trust me, lahat ng mahukuha yung life lessons. Meron at meron kayong mahukuha ng discipline na madadala nyo until tumanda kayo. Susunod na yan, dito lang sa University Town Season 2. Pag sinabing Animo Lasal, di lang yan yung naririnig natin ng mga cheer sa UAP Games. Yan din yung sinisigaw ng puso ng mga atletang Lasalian na nanagumpay dahil sa kanilang passion for the chosen sport and commitment to excellence. Kama yan. At this time, binisita namin si Ren Ren the Rainman Ritualo at ang champion swimmer at kapamilya actor na si Enchong D na parehong nagdala ng karangalan sa DLSU. Yeah. Get boy! With a height of 6'2 and being a son of a professional cager, masasabing nasa kapalaran na ni Ren Ren, the Rain Man Ritualo, ang maging isang basketball player. Gumawa ng pangalan si Ren Ren sa collegiate ranks at professional leagues. Well, syempre, I was surrounded by basketball players kasi my dad was a professional basketball, basketball player also. So, I grew, I literally grew up around basketball. Grade school to high school, I was in San Beda College in Minjola. Uh, so, I started there, nag-tryout ako, tapos uh, eventually, nakapasok. Tapos, yun na, tuloy-tuloy na, nag-NCAA juniors na kami. Tapos, uh, yun, uh, I was recruited by, by La Salle, by uh, Coach Jong Uchigo para that time, 1997. So yun, that's why napunta ako sa Lasal. We're talking about Ren Ren Netualo averaging 20 points per game. Jose, Jose, give to Netualo, Jose! Oh my goodness! 5-2, Netualo faking, firing, bang! What a shot! That was such a tough Ren Ren was considered one of the top collegiate snipers in the UAAP. And under coach Franz Pumarin, 
hindi lang isa, kundi apat na UAAP Basketball Championships ang naiuwi niya para sa De La Salle Green Archers. Green and white, congratulations, De La Salle, Grand Slam Champions of the UAAP! Lahat ng every year memorable since my rookie year, since 97, freshman year. Kasi natalo kami sa finals una eh. Tapos, uh, syempre, the following, the following years, the next four years, we won four straight. Basta, kailangan ko lang manalo today. I want to, to be over right now. Itong game na to, I'm to. So I thank the Lord for it. Extra challenging ang maging student-athlete. Pero sinigurado ni Renren na hindi niya mapapabayaan ang pag-aaral. Tinapos niya ang kurso ang Guidance Counseling and Psychology sa Lasal. Oh, mabait ako ng estudyante. <laughs> I always go to class. Uh, eh, kahit na may, may game kami or uh, practice, I always attend classes. Siyempre, yun yung uh, isang request lang sa akin ng mom ko. Uh, to graduate at uh, attend classes. Memorable para kay Renren ang huli niyang taon sa Lasal. Dahil hindi lang championship ang kanyang nakamit, na-retire din niya ang kanyang jersey number 4. Isang malaking karangalan para sa mga atleta at naging kahanay niya ang mga great Lasal players tulad nila Lim Eng Beng at Kurt Backman. If Lasal uh, retired your jersey, syempre they're looking on and off the court. How you behave, how paano how you carry yourself inside the campus. Coach Franz talked to me. He said, then if we'll get this championship, I'll retire your jersey. Sabi niya sa akin. So parang oh, added motivation for me. It helped me a lot. Parang another fire na na-inject sa akin. So yun, yun yung uh, nangyari doon. So eventually, tuloy-tuloy kami sa championship. After his collegiate stint, Nagkaroon ng makulay na professional basketball career ang The Rain Man. At kahit nagretiro na sa laro si Ren Ren, hindi pa rin maiwan ang sport. Iba't ibang basketball camps para sa mga bata ang kanyang inilunsad. Sobrang gigil. Noong time na yun yung Arellano Chiefs. Gusto, gusto, Bahagi rin si Ren Ren ng NCAA broadcast team ng ABS-CBN. At ngayon, assistant coach ni Franz Pumarin. Natupad na ni Ren Ren ang pangarap ng isang basketball player. At lahat ng ito, tinatanaw niyang malaking utang na loob sa buong Lasallian community. It was an honor for me to play for this school, for Lasall. Kasi yung uh, culture, sobrang ganda, sobrang rich. Well, I'm very, very proud to be a Lasallian. Of course, uh, it will... My character as a person, it made me a better person. It made me... Kung ano, kung sino ko ngayon, ganun ako because of, of the school that uh, I attended, which is the Sal. Isa rin si Lorenzo and Chong D sa mga proud Lasallian athletes na nagbigay karangalan sa universidad. Bago naman maging kapamilya matinay idol, isa siya sa pinakamahusay na swimmer mula sa Naga. At pagdating ng kolehiyo, si Encho ang nanguna para sa DLSU Tankers to end a six-year title drought noong season 72. At the age of... Siguro mga first year high school, at age of 13, we always have competitions in Manila. Tapos most of our competitions is in Rizal Sports Complex. Eh sa, liku sa harapan ng Rizal Sports Complex, nakikita mo yung building ng Lasal. Sabi ko, oh my God, na ngayon lang ako nakakita ng classroom na may aircon. Sabi ko, pagtanda ko, gusto ko dito pumasok. Kasi mainit eh sa classroom sa, sa probinsya. As in, that was just my inspiration. Mga two years after, naset ko na yung mind ko. I really want to go to De La Salle University. I guess I was just so into La Salle. Nasabi ko, sige, 
when when it's time for me to take the exams for the universities, yung lasa lang yung tinig ko. Good thing I passed. Ako, I have to go through this process, the proper process to be part of the La Salle University. When I got into La Salle, ang purpose ko was really to get as much knowledge as possible from the university I'm in. So, ang priority ko talaga nun, of course, pantay-pantay yung pag-aaral, pag-swimming, at saka yung, yung pag-artista nung time na yun. Record after record ang naiset ni Enchong. Kasama na rito ang pagiging Rookie of the Year, three MVP awards, at seven gold medals sa isang season. Lumangoy din si Enchong para sa bansa, sa SEA Games at Asian Games. I just, I just want to have fun. I want to inspire as many um, teammates as possible. So it wasn't, sabi ko nga, the, the, the medals, the trophies, it wasn't really the achievement but actually the, the bond I was able to create with my teammate. Pero hindi lang sa mundo ng swimming itinadhan ng gumawa ng pangalan si Enchong. Well, it was hard because it was only on my second year college when ABS-CBN came into my life. After a while, sabi ko parang nagta-transition yung, yung love for, for craft from swimming, from sports to show business. Mas sinubukan ni Papa na ipakita niya sa akin na mahal, na mahal niya ako. Maanong klaseng anak ako. Pagkatapos maging star swimmer for La Salle, Enchong made a splash in showbiz. Pero yun lang ba yung nakikita niyong solusyon? Yung pumatay agad? Mula sa mga teleseries, Ay, nagtataka lang naman ako. Bakit hanggang ngayon, hindi ka pa rin niya pinapakilala sa mga anak niya? Movies at ngayon sa music. Kuwento ni Enchong, lahat ng ito ay napagtagumpayan niya dahil na rin sa training na nakuha niya bilang atleta. Whatever I learned from swimming, the discipline, the respect to other people, the camaraderie with your teammates, with your co-actors, it was the same. Parang kung ano man yung natutunan ko sa swimming, I was able to apply in show business. So sabi ko, ah, ganito pala yung, yung nabibigay ng sport. It's actually a life lesson. Kung maga, once you move forward, you, you all have this discipline to your body, discipline towards your career na parang na-apply ko siya. So it came easy for me simply because marunong ako makisama sa tao. At kahit busy si Enchong sa kanyang showbiz commitments, hindi niya nakalimutan lumingon sa kanyang pinanggalingan. Sa katunayan, isang charity event na tinawag na Handog Palangoy ang kanyang pinangunahan. Isang proyektong ang layunin ay turuan ang mga kabataan ng swimming. So now that I'm going back to swimming and I'm asking permission to, because I'm swimming at um, La Salle Green Hills, nakikigamit ako ng pool. And you see all these kid, kids na meron, the way they look at you, they look up to you, they have respect to you. I didn't realize that just by focusing on what I was doing before, I'm inspiring a lot of kids, even until now. Even I'm not visible in the swimming community anymore. Nandun pa rin yung respeto ng mga tao because they know that I left a mark. I'm just thankful because um, they never forget um, what you contributed to, to the sport. Saan man ako galing, dapat continuous yung pag-give back natin. Patuloy sa pagtupad ng kanyang pangarap si Enchong Di at nagpapasalamat siya sa sport na swimming at lasal sa pagbibigay sa kanya ng tamang gabay tungo sa tagumpay. So ako gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo, love what you do right now, especially with the sport you're doing right now. Because trust me, lahat ng makukuha niyong life lessons 
meron at meron kayong makukuhang discipline na madadala nyo until the rest, until tumanda kayo. Yung opportunities will just come. And when that comes, I hope you're prepared to just love what you do. Start from that. Hindi namin magagawa yan kung hindi kami magtutulungan ng mga kasama ko. Hindi natin kailangan na, na makilala pa. Yun lang po yung gusto namin. Makalaro sila, manalo. I think that's more fulfilling than us being known. Susunod na yan. Dito lang sa University Town Season 2. Ito pa ba? Ito pa ba? Ito pa. Di yun pa, di yun pa. Yun. Hindi na, baka masaktan ka eh. Ulit. Sanay na ako. Ako? Sanay na ako. Ito yun. Ayan, sige. Ayun. Ayan. Kaya mo naman pala. Masaya ka na. Masakit. Masakit pa din eh. Masakit. Masakit. Ganyan talaga. Ha? Kapila naman, para makabawi ako. Ay! Medyo mahirap yun. Ganyan talaga ang labanan. Basically demanding talaga para sa mga student athlete ang competition sa UAAP. Yan nga naman pa rin natin tuwing laro. Pero marami rin nagagalap behind the scenes o kaya sa labas ng court para mapangalagaan ang katawan ng mga players. Oo, oh, dito mismo sa Lasal, maswerte ang mga atleta. Dahil meron silang katulong para iwas sa injury. At yun, eh ang kasama nila sa bawat laro, bawat sa paghahandaan nila, meron silang kuyang kakalinga sa kanila. Mm. Yun ay si Titi Teddy. Sigurado ka? Ay, may kabila. Para makabawi na ako. Medyo ano eh, malayo yung ano, kailangan mong habulin para wow. mabawi ka. Kapal mo, injury. Ano ba yan? Sinakta mo pa rin ako? The MVP. Teng attacks. Teng puts it up. Oh! What? Baron with a quick attack. On the other side, a chance here! Simanda! Namayagpag ang De La Salle University sa UAAP Season 79. Nag-champion sa men's basketball. Inuwi ang kampionato sa women's volleyball. Nagpamalas ng angking galing at liksi ang mga atletang nasa lista sa bawat laro. Pero ang kinatatakutan ng bawat atleta ang magkaroon ng injury na magpapabangko sa kanila at pipigil sa kanilang makapaglaro. Ikinatakot noon ang Delasal Green Archers team captain na si Kib Montalbo ang pagkakaroon ng ACL tear noong 2015. Akala niya hindi na siya makakabalik ng court. ACL tear. So, parang ligament siya sa tuwod na na tear, na putol, then dock and last, parang binalik lang. In a fast break, uh, tumatakbo ko, then parang bibuelo dapat ako. Then after noon, pagbuelo ko, naiwan yung pa ako. So, I felt na parang nag-shake yung tuwod ko. And I heard a pop. Well, yeah, I got depre I depressed uh, yeah, sa therapy time kasi sakit eh. I can't play, tapos naiingkit ako na teammates here to training. Then, I have to deal with therapy here. Naging determinado si Kev na makapaglaro muli. At lumapit siya kay P.T. Teddy, ang physical therapist ng mga atleta sa DLSU. Umabot ng halos sampung buwan ang rehab ni Kev ng kanyang tuhod. Torres, Montalvo for three. Yes, Saul, Saul! At sa pagbabalik ni Kib sa hard court, naging malaking bahagi siya ng tagumpay ng Green Archers noong nakaraang season. Isa lamang si Kib sa mga atletang natulungan ni P.T. Teddy. Love at first sight po yung sports. Kasi ibang-iba po siya compared sa normal na setting ng isang P.T. Usually sa hospital, sa clinic. So that time po, meron lang po nag sa amin na mag-training dito. After a few months, nagkaroon ng opening. So, nag-apply po ako. Um, God willing naman po na tanggap. Graduate ng De La Salle University Dasmarinas si P.T. Teddy sa kursong Physical Therapy. Nang makapagtapos, naging bahagi siya ng DLSU para tulungan ng mga atletang may injury. 
ang natural na friendly approach ni PT Teddy ang naging magnet para maging maayos ang rehab ng mga atletang injured. Lagi niya ako minumotivate na kahit down ako, kahit tiyatamad ako. Eh sabi na push mo lang. Like, yung line niya lagi, umahala kapag ayaw mo, <laughs> edi wag. Hindi mo makukonsensya ka. Mas makikita nyo talaga yung improvements kaagad. And then, uh, fulfilling din po kasi. Uh, lalo na kapag uh, once you see them, they can't walk. The next, uh, last week, this week, they can walk na. Mga ganun. So, yun po yung siguro yung na-appreciate ko. After seven years, walang sawa si PT Teddy na harapin ang iba't ibang injury gaya ng orthopedic cases, fractures at ACL. Football players daw ang suki sa injury. Surprisingly, meron naman po dumarating na bago every day. So, para mas challenge kay, parang may darating sa inyo na patient na PT na sakit ng sigo ko, PT <laughs> sakit ng tuhod ko. So, minsan, minsan parang paulit-ulit na lang na ah, same patient, same case na siya dito sa isang patient. Um, pero minsan, mapapaisip ka talaga eh. So, maybe that's, yun yung nagiging drive. Yun yung, hindi, yun yung factor na masasabi ko na hindi ako mababore. Kasi syempre, na-challenge ako sa bawat araw na pagpunta ko dito. Tsaka yung challenge na maibalik sila kaagad. Tsaka yung challenge na hindi na sila ma-injure ulit. Uh, ayaw natin sila ma-injure. So anong pwedeng gawin ng PT para doon? So maybe yun po yung nagiging, nagiging um, drive para lagi nandito. Bunso sa magkakapatid, lumaki siya sa mapagmahal na pamilya. Kwento ni P.T. Teddy, ang kanyang masayang pamilya ang naging inspirasyon niya para alagaan ang mga atletang na injury. Lagi sinasabi ng parents ko na kahit anong mangyari, huwag kayo mag-away. So parang gano'n, so, mahalin nyo yung isa't isa. Tinitreat ko sila as para mga kapatid din. Siguro doon ko na lang uh, pinanghuhugutan yung traits na kailangan para, para po sa kanila. Isa lang ang laging goal ni P.T. Teddy, ang makabalik sa game ang bawat atleta. Kaya todo pasensya si P.T. Teddy sa bawat pasyente niya. Number one, kailangan namin silang i-push through their limits. Kasi syempre, once na injure ang isang player, matatakot na yan. Eh. Kaya yung minsan, yung potential nila, hindi na nila naaabot ulit. Um, so yun po yung isa sa mga important na gagawin namin. Kailangan namin talaga silang i-push. And then, uh, i-improve pa yung kung anong meron sila that time. Anong assurance ko para maibalik sila? It's, it's all about um, their attitude. Their attitude to go back. Their motivation to go back. Very important yung motivation nila. Naging inspirasyon nila P.T. Marco, maging ng utility na si Kuya Resti, si P.T. Teddy. Hanga sila sa kanyang service at passion. Kaya naman, inspired din ang grupo ng mga physical therapists na gawing excellent ang kanilang trabaho. Para kaming magkakapatid kasi dito sa rehab. So, nagtutulungan kami. So, hindi kami yung naghihilahan pababa. So, parang support each other kami. So, si P.T. Teddy kasi yung type na parang sinusuportahan niya kami yung parang colleagues niya. So, siya kasi head namin. So, parang tinutulungan din niya kami. Pag kailangan namin ng assistance, siya yung gumagabay sa amin feeling yung pag nakikita namin yung athletes na nagsasaksid sa sport nila, especially yung mga na-injured na athletes namin. So pag nakikita namin na nakakalaro sila ng maayos and napapakita nila 100% sa game nila, yun, fulfillment na sa amin yun. 19 years na bilang utility si Kuya Resti. Kasama sa trabaho niya ang maglagay ng tape sa bawat paa at tuhod ng mga atleta. Ang masaya at supportive na environment ng Lasal ang naging motibasyon ni Kuya Resti na ipagpatuloy ang kanyang trabaho. Masaya. Um, lalo na kung pagkasama ko yung mga players, siyempre yung mga player mababayit naman sa amin. Ano na talaga sa akin? Yung plus na po. Wala na po akong balak kung maghanap pa ng ibang trabaho kasi... Ba, dito na talaga ako, napamahal na ako sa trabaho ko eh. Pag nananalo yung mga player, masaya kami. Sila P.T. Teddy, P.T. Marco at Kuya Resti, 
ilan lang sila sa mga kinikilala mga bayani sa likod ng tagumpay ng mga atleta ng De La Salle University. Yung pagiging asang hero, parang hindi naman yung na-expect yun kasi minsan talaga hindi naman kami na-recognize talaga. Okay lang sa amin yun, basta kami, we're doing our job and we want our athletes to be back and to perform well sa games nila. Hindi namin magagawa yan kung hindi kami magtutulungan ng mga kasama ko. Hindi natin kailangan na, na makilala pa. Kung may, pag, may pagkakataon, thank you. Pero yun nga po, yun lang po yung gusto namin. Mak makalaro sila, manalo. I think that's more fulfilling than us being no. Hindi na hinangad ang palakpak, cheer at trophy. Ang maibalik sa laro ang mga atleta, yan ang nagsisilbing tagumpay nila. Maraming salamat for all the support, for always being there for us during the ups and downs and to never stop believing in us because, you know, they've been there. We will fight for the green and white. Susunod na yan sa University Town Season 2. Kasabay ng paghubog ng De La Salle University ng exceptional students at future leaders, ang kanilang paghulma sa mga dekalibreng atleta sa larangan ng collegiate sports. Labin limang championship points ang naipanalo ng green and white noong season 79 mula sa mga outstanding performances ng kanilang mga atleta. Last season, gumawa ng kasaysayan ang DLSU Pumse team. Hinarap nila sa matinding labanan ng heavily favored USC team at nakamit ang kauna-unahang championship ng kanilang universidad. First place finish sa Pairs Division ng tandem nila Angelica Gao at Enrico Melia kontra sa UP Fighting Maroons. Noong um, season 79, na gold kami ni Kuya, ni Kuya Rico sa... Um, pair Pumse. Siyempre, super saya kasi nung eliminations round, pang third lang kami. Magaling talaga yung mga uh, kalaban namin. Pero, uh, siyempre, dahil kay God, saka yung pinag-training ta talaga namin, binigay lang namin yung best namin. Super laking achievement po yung pagiging champion. Siyempre, you up to biggest competition sa mga universities. Na mayagpag naman sa individual category ang kanilang team captain at national team member na si Rina Babanto. This is our first championship since the last five years since nag-participate yung Del SU Pumsi team sa UAP. For me, since pumasok ako, we or I aim for that championship title since pa. Since Everyone's been wishing for that or dreaming for that title. So we have some issues like since rookie ako. Issues like homesickness, ganun. So non expect ko na kayo ko siyang ikontra sa mga problema ko. That's more in focus sa championship title. So ay. Para sa newly crowned champs, isang karangalan ang irepresenta ang kanilang dream university. Galing ako sa Baguio City. Siyempre, parang malayo yan. Pero dahil sa Pumse and sa Taekwondo, nakita ng mga coaches namin yung potential ko. Tsaka nakuha din nila ako dito and na-recruit. Siyempre, super big na university to. Tapos halos... Karamihan ng taekwondo, dream school din talaga yung Lasal kasi siyempre super gandang school nito. I felt happy on top and at the same time, I felt a bigger challenge coming. Whatever happens in the court, I'll always remember that I have something to represent and that's the Lasal University.
Maasahan ng Del Este community sa Del Este Upum si team is we strive for more championships to come. And we're doing our best as a team captain to guide my team and to lead the team. And follow our coach um, advice so that we get the championship again and let the animal fighting spirit alive again. Isa rin sa mga underdog stories noong Season 79 ang 3P title run ng DLSU Lady Paddlers. This is their first championship season without their former team captain, ang unang table tennis Olympia ng Pilipinas na si Ian Lariba. Nawala na sa amin si Ian Lariba eh. Kasi yun ang pinaka ace player namin. So parang... <clears throat> Pakiramdam ng team, ng women's team, na parabang nawalan sila ng ate, nawala sila ng team captain. So parang mabigat para sa kanila, pero pinupush ko naman sila na kaya naman lahat, basta magtulong-tulong lahat. Of course, super laki nang nawala sa amin since uh, ate Yan was our team captain then uh, She serves as our inspiration on and off the court. Tsaka ilalala naman natin si ate yan as a sure point sa team. So malaking kawalan siya pero I think it serves as our inspiration din na kami naman ngayon yung magsistep up. Para sa buong team, nagsilbing motibasyon ang kanilang doubters tungo sa kanilang kampirato. Aim siya namin yun mag-champion since ang daming ang discrimination na nangyari sa amin dahil wala si ate yan. Pero siya sabi na, ah, wala na yan. yung team na yan, wala si ate yan. Pero dahil sa discrimination na yun, mas gusto namin mag-champion. Though hindi namin siya ina-expect talaga. champions sa kami. It was surreal kasi parang akala namin wala na yung championship sa amin. Pero uh, siguro plan din ni God na bigay sa amin yun. Para sa amin siguro talaga yun. At sa kanilang mga susunod na laban, mananatiling inspirasyon nila ang kanilang former captain. We dedicate it to Ate Yan and to God, our family, and to the DLSU community. Dun sa mga tao na support sa amin, sa managers namin, and especially sa coaches namin na naghirap sobra, ang daming sacrifices. Uh, yan, minsan ko sa iyo, <coughs> uh, magpagaling ka, kayang-kaya mo yan. Basta nandito lang kami, lahat na DLSU table tennis team, mga ka-teammates mo, uh, lalo na yung mga coaches. Keep fighting, uh, nandito lang kami sa likod mo and we're always here and proud of you. Pangako ng Lady Panthers ang patuloy na paglaban para sa green and white. To have uh, the name of Lasal in front of our jersey is a dream come true. Siyempre, every uh, player wants to have a chance na ma-represent yung kanyang school. And super proud lang kasi Lasal is Lasal. Sagwa sagging. 
Impala takes advantage. Oh, what a soft punch. You meant to get it. Vanessa all the way down. Oh, you have the left hand. And for assist, you actually buy. Sa loob naman ng basketball court, noong magsimula ang nakaraang season, naging matunog ang bagong lakas ng De La Salle Green Archers. Pumasok ang bagong leader ng Koponan, ang mastermind ng kanalang winning mayhem system, si Coach Alden Ayo. Uh, expectation, of course. You have to win. Uh, that's the very reason why they hired me. Not only just win the championship, but manalo na mataas yung level na ilaro ng, ng team namin. Dishes, assist yo, a high arcing three. A rebound, Ben Embala. And that does it! Congratulations, the De La Salle University Green Archers, your UAAP Season 79 champions. Para sa UAAP first-timers na sila Ben Embala at Richie Rivero, unforgettable ang kanilang latest title run. Looking at the backgrounds and the years I had to wait before I started playing, I felt like that was a reward just to show me that, yeah, it was all worth it to wait and to keep working and be patient. Coming up there on my first year and winning a championship was really sweet and, you know, make you want to do more and keep working harder and harder. After the championship, I didn't sink in with me. I sank in with me after one week. I was crying. I was thinking, we're a champion. What happened? It was like a one snap of a finger. That was my first UAAP career. So that's it. It's so much feeling. Unforgettable talaga. Ayon sa Big Green Machine ng DLSU, malaking bahagi ng kanilang success ang walang sawang suporta ng Lasallian community. Deng attacks. Deng puts it up. Oh! What a wild slap by... You know, this spirit, I don't know if I can really explain the spirit of the green and white, but, you know, when you are able to feel like you made a whole community proud, then that's, you can see that you gave joy to a lot of people, indirectly or directly. Then that's more important than the rest of the reward, the personal reward and all that. You forget about all the stress, the pain, the hard work and all that. And the happiness is all what you need. At ngayong season 80, handa na muling lumaba ng Green Archers upang makamit ang back-to-back -back titles. Of course, masaya and siyempre satisfied ka kasi yun naman yung ultimate objective uh, to win the championship. Pero it lasted only a few minutes eh. Uh, after that, kailangan mo naman magtrabaho eh. And yung trabaho na kailangan ma-celebrate na maayos, uh, ma-advisean yung mga players na dapat ngayon itong gawin. As after that, few minutes, iniisip ko na rin naman kung paano na mag-prepare for next season eh. Kasi we're not going to be contented with one championship only. Maraming salamat for all the support, for always being there for us during the ups and downs, and for never, to never stop believing in us because, you know, they've been there too thick, too slim, and they never, you know, they always had our back. And I can just say really thank you for all that. And I'll say we promise you guys that we'll leave our everything during this season. We'll, we'll fight for the green and white. Faith, Service, Communion. Ito ang mga core values na dala ng mga Lasallians bilang estudyante at mamamayan. Sa loob at labas ng court, maging sa loob at labas ng universidad hanggang sa pipiliin karera. Baon-baon na bawat green archer ang pusong sumisigaw ng animo. Ako si Robby Domingo. Ako naman si Gretchen Ho. At ito ang University Town Season 2.